Welcome to a night of celebration as we honor the 12th graduating class of Victoria East High School. Standing before you are the student graduates with the highest honors. Please give them a hand for their outstanding accomplishments. Thank you, students. Honor grads, you may return to your seats. As we celebrate this special night, it is important that we applaud the people behind the vision of our wonderful school and school district. Standing behind me, we have our superintendent and the Victoria ISD school board members. Please join me in giving everyone on stage a round of applause for their hard work and dedication that goes into molding our students and community. Thank you all. Also on the platform tonight, we have our valedictorian, Isaac Liu. And our salutatorian, Ori Ebner. Now please welcome to the stage, Braden Beckner, who will be joining the armed forces after graduation. Braden will be leading our Pledge of Allegiance tonight. Joining Braden will be Daniel Rodriguez, who has been deployed over three years and is here tonight to watch his sister graduate high school. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, and the class of 2022, please stand, and gentlemen, please remove your caps as we honor our country and remain standing for singing of National Anthem by Victoria East High School Choir. Oh my God. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Victorious High School Choir will now sing the national anthem. Please welcome to the stage, Caden Coley, who will lead us in prayer. Good evening. Before we begin, I would like to take a brief moment of silence to honor the lives lost and those affected in the terrible tragedy that occurred in Uvalde, Texas this past week. The community of Uvalde has the support and condolences of VISD and Victoria East High School.
Thank you. Good evening and congratulations to the 2022 graduating class. Please remain standing and pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your blessings on all of us here tonight. Thank you for our family, friends, teachers, and administrators who have supported us along the way. We pray that you guide our path and lead us into the next chapter of our lives. We ask for your wisdom and clear direction and that you would protect us as we go out into the world. We ask that you would make us leaders and rise to stand up for what is right and true. Help us prepare for the challenges set before us. Be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let our light shine into the world. Amen. Thank you. Graduates, you may be seated. It is a great honor for me to present East High School graduating class of 2022 tonight. First things first, I cannot miss an opportunity to recognize our parents as we gather with friends and family. Without your support, patience, and compassion you have shown, the school would not stand a chance. You have been the teacher, the counselor, the custodian, the security guard, the principal, the everything for each of these students for the last 18 years. Tonight honors you as much as it does your child. So at this time, family and friends, please join me in saying thank you for your ongoing partnership with Victoria ISD. Now parents, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ceremony because you have earned it. <laughs> Tonight from the stands, you can see the ampersand sign on many of our graduates' mortarboards. These ampersands represent our graduates who will walk across the stage this evening, accept their diploma, and leave us prepared for a successful launch into a career, military, college, and life in order to be a contributing member of society. Monday morning, they, they have their high school diploma and are getting ready to go to college, trade schools, they have a job to go to, they have certifications to jumpstart their careers. Please stand as I recognize you for your accomplishments, then be seated. This evening, from Victoria East High School, we have nine students who have committed to the military branch. Please stand. Thank you. We have 54 students who have earned over 738 hours of dual credit courses. Please stand. Thank you. We have 135 students who have earned 185 industry-based certifications. Please stand. Thank you. These numbers are as of today, and students will continue testing into the summer. It is my privilege to recognize the top two graduates of Victoria East High School. Both of these students exhibit strong academic ability, but have also been tremendous leaders on our campus throughout extracurricular activities. They possess outstanding character and strong work ethic that will enable them to reach their dreams in the future. Our, Our salutatorian with a grade point average of 109.7010 is Ori Orsher Ebner. Ori, please join me on stage. <laughs> Ori is the son of Jared and Barr Ebner. Ori will be attending Victoria College to earn his Associates in Science for Nursing to become a travel nurse with future goals of becoming a nurse practitioner. Ori has been a member of the Titan tennis team all four years at East, was a member of Varsity Orchestra his freshman and sophomore year, and is also a member of the Texas Future Music Educators. I would ask that Ori's family stand in support of your, your son's, son's outstanding, outstanding accomplishment as he receives this award. Presenting the salutatorian bowl to Ori is Vice President of the VISD Board of Trustees, Margaret Pruitt. 
Thank you, Ori. Our Valid Victorian with a great point average of 109.8612 is Isaac Young Liu. Isaac, please join me. Isaac is the son of Andy and Stephanie Liu. Isaac will be attending the University of Texas, majoring in finance at McCombs Business School. After earning his undergraduate, he plans to obtain his master's in business administration. Isaac participated in basketball, Rho Kappa, and was a member of the National Honor Society junior senior year. The, the state, state of Texas, Texas has acknowledged, acknowledged Isaac, Isaac as, as the highest ranking, ranking graduate, which entitles him to a waiver for tuition to any state-supported college or university. I would, I would ask that Isaac's family stand in support of your son's outstanding accomplishments as he receives this award. Presenting the Bella Victorian Bowl to Isaac is President of the VIST Board of Trustees, Mr. Mike Mercer. Thank you, Isaac. Please welcome back to the stage to give his salutatorian speech, Ori Ebner. Mama, we made it. You're the real MVP. Uh, <laughs> all right. It is my honor and privilege to be able to speak to you all on this night. I'm aware this speech is a bit lengthy, but if it goes out like I've planted it in my head a million times in the shower, then it might touch someone tonight. I've dreamed about this for years, putting in extensive hours of studying, planning, and sacrifice for this position. And I really hope I don't stutter or lose track of where I am. In a perfect world, this speech ends up on YouTube with millions of views with the caption of salutatorium events, uh, attempts to motivate his peers. And maybe Mr. Beast or Steve will do it. Uh, she gives me a shout out. But yeah, the class of 2022 has made it through COVID-19, Hurricane Harvey, the Texas freeze, President Biden, President Trump, and most of all, the school system. We did it. Yeah. My mind battled an internal conflict regarding what I wanted to talk about. Should I be funny? Should I open about controversial topics? Should I say what I don't like about the education system? Should this piece just be one big thank you letter? What should I talk about? Do I even deserve to be speaking right now? All in all, I came to the conclusion that I'll make it everything. I'll cross up ideas like Hannah Tyler cross Mo, Mo, Kate and Mo in the students versus teachers basketball games. In all seriousness, I got asked a lot this year. What will you tell him, Ori? What will you say? This is what I'll tell him. Shalom. My name is Ori Oshel Ebner. Everyone has their own story. Everyone has their own context to the moment they are in this very moment. Here's a very short and version of mine and how I got here. My roots can be found back in Yemen with my grandma, Safta. She moved to Israel with nothing but the clothes on her back and kids in her hand when Israel first became a state in 1948. She migrated in hopes of achieving her dream to live a more happy and fulfilled life. Having 15 kids, her burden was heavy, yet she turned dirt into a beautiful garden. Understand, she never had money nor valued money, yet lived one of the most happiest, fulfilled lives imaginable. Her husband lived just an honorable life, being the rabbi of the local village, the Moshav, and having the kindest heart known to man. Years later, my mom had the same dream and came to America selling ice cream. She met my dad and they had two kids, Edward Moses Ebner and Ori Oshea Ebner. And now I am here speaking to thousands with the same goal, to live a more fulfilled life. When I was younger, I always saw Eddie as the nerd participating in orchestra, tennis, and heavily involved in academics. I wanted to be the cool guy. If familiar with Drake and Josh, I wanted to be, the, I wanted to be Drake and he was Josh. I would never become a nerd, not Ori. Now, I speak to y'all as the salutatorian, competent tennis player, and violist. Unlike J. Cole, I had role models that are the reason for my success. Ed <laughs> Eddie being my number one role model. Love you, big bro. You succeeded. <laughs> but how did I get here? What drive me to hyper-focus on every single piece of paper I turned in for four years? That can be dated back to seventh grade when I heard Daniel Shea and Gregory McCarthy's speech at graduation. I remember being so moved by them and one thing ringing in my head. I want to be like them. I put them on such a pedestal. They were so cool to me. I thought there is no way I can just be another person graduating without having my voice heard. I want to do big things. So I ended up telling my dad I'll be valedictorian. And he said he would give me $10,000 if I became the valedictorian. My pockets remain slim. <laughs> 
Now I am in their shoes with a far deeper understanding than I ever imagined. A lesson learned should be a lesson shared. First off, please do not put me on any type of pedestal. I guarantee you there are countless other classmates that have the same, if not more, of a natural intelligence than me. I simply understood the education system and how to achieve a high grade. I am not the smartest or bigger, biggest scholar here. Sorry, it's, it's really windy, okay. I'm not the smartest or biggest scholar here by a long shot. That title goes to Caden Coley, in my opinion. Uh, where was I? <laughs> um, yeah, tests do not directly infect and Tests do not directly reflect intelligence. They instead portray a student's ability to regurgitate information. Grades don't represent intelligence. They instead portray a student's ability to follow directions. Success in school does not mean success in the real world, vice versa. <laughs> really windy. I was fortunate enough to be able to focus on academics without having to worry about financials, family issues, and other burdens that I know many of my peers experience. Matter of fact, if you talk to me or Isaac, you will probably find out how I missed out on many experiences in hopes of achieving these dreams. All right, y'all bear with me here. President candidate, street poet, and best rapper of all time once stated is Kanye West, if you don't know. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, look at the valedictorian, scared of the future while hop in the DeLorean, scared to face a world complacent career student. Some people graduate but be still stupid. They tell you read this, eat this, don't look around, just peep this. Shoot, preach this, teach us Jesus. Okay, look up now, they done stole your streetness. After all of that, you receive this. Good morning. But yeah, there's deeper meaning in that. And to summarize, the school system can lead you to believe there's only one way to success, one answer to a problem. For example, one answer to a math problem or an English problem, or maybe even that's going to a big state school and receiving thousands of dollars as student loans. But the truth is, Life provides various solutions to almost every problem. A two-year-old shouts in a restaurant and is told, be quiet. Teachers, uh, the teacher, someone in, uh, so you have a toddler, right? You have a toddler in a, school, in, in, in a restaurant, and then let's say the toddler screams, right? So then everyone's gonna say, yo, teach your kid how to act. We are all unpaid actors in a script we didn't write. Break the simulation. And to give a better analogy, let's say you have a child, a toddler, that's on a coffee table, right? And then someone, his uncle comes up to him and says, no, get off the coffee table. And in his mind, he can do whatever he wants. He's Superman, he can do whatever. He has all this limitless possibilities, right? But then he's structured by society to believe in a certain way. And sometimes school can do the same thing. Don't become 40, 50, with many coffee tables in your life. Break the simulation. School can be the biggest simulation and do not determine your success by someone else's ruler. Don't let the comfortability of school steal your talents or your streetness, as Ye states. After opening my eyes and seeing we have sa such talented artists, choirs, choir members, band, mem band members, sports members, lifters, theater, orchestra, and other individuals at East, I could understand many others were just like me. Can we please applaud for all the voices and stories that go unheard tonight? To be honest with y'all, I did not want to be speaking right now. I wanted, the, I wanted the title of valedictorian. After doing reflection over hearing I was point one of a point away from Val, I received great enlightenment. I began to think, that is just as far as Coley, our third rank graduate, was for me. Even more, I'm sure there's a small gap between fourth and third, and fifth from fourth, and the lowest graduating, the lowest rank graduating senior from the second lowest graduating senior. So what clearly distinguishes me from the lowest ranking graduate? The answer is a few bubble sheets. <laughs> No one tonight is graduating as just another person. No one tonight is graduating as just another person. Every, oh, shoot. Even more, I'm sure there's a. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I got a hair tie somewhere. What are you doing? I need a hair tie. You want your hat left? Yeah, yeah. Let me just like. <laughs> all right. In all honesty, if you were to change one bubble sheet from any of my tests, it would drop my rank and another would be speaking here tonight. There are graduates who never had the peers and pressure to focus on academics like I did. However, I am sure of their success in the real world, students like Tracy Restbrook. The last thing I learned was that I really didn't accomplish, achieve anything. Yes, there are countless unseen days and nights I spent studying and doing homework. However, the values that fueled every action I made were solely from the people who modeled how to live an honorable life. 
Y'all see my achievement, but not the days my mom was spending with me in the summer, making sure I was studying and learning to be ahead of the school system. Not the people who believed in me. Not the days my dad worked 18 hour shifts to make sure I had what I needed. Not junior year when I was so focused on academics, it led me to a dark place with very little social. Not the countless people who instilled an honorable work ethic within me. If anything is put on a pedestal tonight, please make it my family and my role models throughout my life. Without their guidance, I am just another. Teachers like Ms. Medlin, shout out Ms. Medlin, who are extremely underpaid, yet put in hours of unpaid work to ensure we understood the lesson, we thank you. Parents who work tirelessly and endlessly to make sure your kids have everything they need, we thank you. To the friends who made this journey worthwhile and fun, we thank you. To the people who overcame depression, anxiety, eating disorders, illness, and other health issues, we thank you and we acknowledge you. Everyone is a role model. It's up to you to decide what type of role you portray. Nothing in life is more important than your relationships, not your goals or your dreams. Through social interactions, we get to influence, impact, and change lives. Find a relationship with yourself and God first, then let the impact happen. We have one life. We have one life. Let's make it a great story. Let's be the light to each other's happiness. We did our first big accomplishment, guys. We did it. Lastly, sorry, that's kind of long. Everyone is asking me, what you finna say if the class of 2022 didn't graduate? What if they don't succeed? What if we don't make it? What if we didn't win? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Thank you, Ori. Please welcome Isaac Liu, Victoria East, Valid Victorian, for his student address. Give me a Firstly, I want to give thanks to the Victoria East High School staff that made our education possible. I also want to thank the friends I've made along the way, and I want to thank my parents for giving me an amazing upbringing. Also, since you guys kept asking me, a special shout out to the Calculus ABBC class that consisted of Mr. Reyes, Kristen, Julissa, Mason, Cohen, Grant, and Chris. And finally, another shout out to Ori. I won't forget all the, those nights we spent studying AP World History together. And also, hi, Aaron. Now, I believe I should instill some inspiration, or at the very least, some wisdom. By no means am I wiser than my peers. After all, they are the ones who pressured me into having fun and attending school events. However, I am far from inspirational. Rather, I choose to give some important ideas about this moment in our, in our lives. There is a well-renowned Chinese story that I found profound throughout my time in high school, and I hope everyone here will gain something from it as well. The story talks about a famous Chinese poet named Su Shi and his visit to a red cliff with some friends. Here, they drank and floated on a boat in the Yangtze River. To make it easier, we will call Su Shi Tom and the friend playing the flute, Jerry. <laughs> After eating and drinking, Happily, they began drifting and singing a song from an older Chinese poem. Jerry, afterwards, started to play a melancholy tune from his flute because he remembers a hero named Chao Mengde, who was also once writing poetry and enjoying the river, just like them. Tom asks why the music was so somberly stirring. In response, Jerry said, we are like mayflies wandering in this terrestrial world or a grain of millet on a deep ocean. What a short lifespan we have, yet how endless the Yangtze River is. I wish we could travel with flying immortals in heaven or hold the bright moon in my arms through eternity. I know this is something not easily obtainable, and therefore I can only leave the melancholy music to the desolate autumn wind. Tom, disagreeing with his friend's philosophy, said, Do you happen to know the nature of water or the wind? Water is always on the run like this, but never lost in its course. The moon always waxes and wanes like that, but never out of its sphere. When viewed from a changing perspective, the universe can hardly be the same, even within a blink of an eye. But when looked from an unchanging perspective, everything can serve itself, and so do we. Therefore, what's in them to be admired? Besides, in this universe, everything has its rightful owner. If something does not belong to you, then you shall not even have a bit of it. Only the refreshing breeze on the river and the bright moon over the hills are an exception. If you can hear it, it is a sound to you. If you can see it, it is a view to you. It never ends and is never exhausted. It is the infinite treasure granted to us by our creator for both of us to enjoy. His friends were gladdened by his words and smiled. 
and they had their cups rinsed and refilled. Soon, all the dishes and fruits were gone. With plates and cups left scattered all over, they leaned against each other and fell asleep right in the boat, unaware that it was dawning in the east. Like our graduation, this story represents change. Our bonds come from nothing, and then they take form. Some will last for a while, and some will break and disappear. It is natural for us to forget and to remember. My mentor at Edward Jones always says something similar to this. We have friends for a reason, friends for a season, and friends for a lifetime. We cannot own one another's friendships, and therefore we sometimes will not have it continuing forward. In our garden, we have countless trees planted. Sometimes the people we meet plant their seeds, but this does not always entail the sprouting of said seed. Everyone here has friendships dear to them, and when we go our separate ways, we sometimes lose what is important to us. I hope that everyone who graduates obtains the ability to appreciate the relationships they have now, as well as the ones that never bore any fruit. The world is filled with so much nuance and beauty that it will be foolish for us to try and keep what is not ours. In the now, our gardens are filled with meticulously planted trees. When we are gone, what happens? A garden without a gardener does not simply stop existing, quite the opposite. In this changing world, the garden will simply become unkept and naturally turn into a wilderness. We, along with the connections of the old, might be gone, but the byproduct greatly outweighs the original. I also find people always congratulating those who stand at the top of their classes, getting reassurances and complimenting them, but sometimes we become saddened by such words. And then there are those who always point towards others and tell their kids to be like them or ask them why they cannot be successful like others. However, many times, succeeding academically in high school does not always mean an easier path to success. Sometimes it only compels us to keep going down the wrong road. I hope everyone here is choosing the right way forward that will make them happy and one where they can find purpose in all that they do. Again, I sincerely thank the graduating class of 2022 and the staff at East for giving me a high school experience. You guys made me go to prom, albeit I was there for about half an hour, <laughs> and tried to make me experience normal high school activities that I shook off as unnecessary. Because of this, I have more memories to look back on. Maybe our paths will cross outside of Victoria, or maybe we will grow old and slowly forget each other. But no matter what, we should be thankful for the people we know, the people we once knew, and those who we never got the chance to meet. Thank you, Tyne Pride. Good job, gentlemen. Mr. Mercer, President of Victoria Independent School District Board of Trustees, members of the board, Dr. Shepard, Superintendent of Victoria Schools, I hereby certify that the students before you have met all the requirements of Victoria Independent School District to participate in this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gabrish. Victoria East High School Class of 2022, congratulations. You worked and you earned this. This is yours. For 13 years, many of you have put your faith in VISD to prepare you for what's next. It is with great joy that we, in turn, put our unconditional faith in you as you go out into the world and shape the future. On behalf of the Victoria Independent School District Board of Trustees, I accept the recommendation of the faculty and administration of Victoria East High School and hereby grant these students, the rights and privileges accorded their honor. Once again, congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Now, will the class of 2022 please come forward to receive your well-deserved honor? Abigail Acuna. Landon Lee Adian. 
Kate Alexandria Aguayo. Estrella Aguilera Barrientos. Isaac Aguirre. Brody Gage Aiken. Eric Torin Alanis. Maximiliano Alarcón. Isabella Kathleen Alexander. Caden Jonathan Allen. Alyssa Jade Alvarado. Lily Marie Alvarado. Roland Xavier Alvarez. Allie Jane Amador. Ethan Kane Anguiano. Alessandra Patrice Pelisan Aranes. Felix Arguelles. Efren Arguello Jr. Devaney Danae Armstrong. Crystal Rain Arredondo. Jordan Leslie Askew. Delaney Scarlett Atkinson. Cullen D. Baker. Jacob Nathaniel Valderas. Dyson Gage Baron. Taylor Marie Bearden. Samantha Marie Becerra. Braden Allen Beckner. Layla Elizabeth Beckner. Jordan Ashley Bell. Ramon Lee Bell. Jaden James Benavides. Grant Seal Biles. Delaney Faith Billow. Jordan Lee Blevins. Lillian Sensere Boyette. Celeste Briones. Trinity Faith Brown. Karina Victoria Bueno. Steven Tyler Bush. Olivia Michelle Bustos. Kaylin Nicole Bird. Jordan Renee Conchola. Caitlin Nicole Cano. Kaya Joel Cano. Madison Vea Cantu. Mia Daniela Cantu. Allison Grace Casal. Mariah Francine Casas. Ricky Castellanos. Dante Bisante Cantalanoto. Cameron Eugene Cavill. Joseph Lamont Cephas. Reinaldo Cedral Sandoval. Esmeralda Cervantes. Joaquin Gutierrez Cervantes. Ali Chacón. Gabriela Chavez. Mariah Bethany Chimchong. Lamara Oleana Cleveland. 
Anaya Dejeuner Collins. Olivia Grace Conley. Porcelain Divine Cooper. Caitlin Marie Cordova. Cadence Renee Countryman. Raven Sky Crowley. Guadalupe Lee Cruz. Araceli Irma Cuellar. Jocelyn Aubrey Cuellar. Danielle Adriana Domborski. Morgan Grace Daniel. Ariana Janae Daniels. Abigail Faith Didier. Andrea Del Angel. Zachariah Wentz De La Rosa. Perla Crystal Diaz. Mark York Doan. Cal Ray Doming. Tyler Brian Dowden. Abigail Jennifer Duran. Crystal Jane Duron. Ori Osher Ebner. Julissa Elias. Kalisha Michelle Elliott. Jacoby Isaiah Ellis. Deshauna Marie Ernest. Valerie Santos Escalona. Bella Grace Estraca Coleman. Agustin Estrada. Gage Matthew Estrada. Tal Michelle Evans. Gracie Alexandria Falcon. Lucas Alexander Falcon. Natalie Ray Falsek. Brooklyn Page Fouth. Nicholas James Fiebeck. Emma Kate Fimble. Jehu Maximino Flores. Kaylin Liana Flores. Raylin Jordan Flores. Eric Devin Franklin. Dana Frias. Emily Ann Fuentes. Roberta Leanne Fumbanks. Jaden Ray Fazell. Alyssa Raquel Garcia. Elizabeth Ann Garcia. Alyssa Janie Garcia. Angelina Sue Garcia. Devin John Michael Garcia. Fallon Mackenzie Garcia. Joseph Lolo Garcia. Miriam Denise Garcia. Nathaniel Ethan Garcia. Logan Ray Goddess. Thomas Neely Garrett III. Ariana Neve Garza. Ariana Lynette Garza. Dariana May Garza. 
Justine Destiny Garza. Madison Paige Garza. Samantha Renee Garza. Cecily Ann Garza. Kristen Marie Gaitan. Robert Michael Gentry. Jeremy Chase Godino. Amelia Nicole Gomez. Anastasia Mercedes Gonzalez. Leslie Guadalupe Gonzalez. Serena May Gonzalez. Craig Aaron Gonzalez. Elias Federico Blanco Gonzalez. Jalen Anthony Gonzalez. Haley Miranda Gossett. Dustin Kell Green. Seth Paul Grevy. Kaya Linnell Grissett. Lorenzo Martin Guevara. Devin Rene Gutierrez. Diego Domingo Gutierrez. Christian Janie Hamilton. Callie Lynn Hanzelka. Jaden Anthony Harmon. Rachel Lynn Harp. Siandre Anthony Von Shea Harrison. Kevin Antonio Hayes Jr. Mary Catherine Elizabeth Henley. Alan Zabdi Hernandez. Heriberto Manuel Hernandez. Adora Teresa Herrera. Allison Grace High. Benjamin Sean Hinojosa. Jacob Adam Hurtado Johnson. Shelby Nicole Huth. Jeremy Daniel Jenkins. Stephanie Danae Jimenez. Amari Laree Johnson. Caden James Christoph Jones. Zabrin Zapri Jones. Abigail Elizabeth Kieser. Colston Albert Kimbrough. Emery Lachey King. Matthew Corinne Wallace Klein. Skylar Avery Knight. Aaron Joseph Koshin. Kaden Joseph Coley. Caleb Matthew Kurchinski. Elena Michelle Lance Morales. Sara Marie Lara. Paul Robert Lara Bocanegra. Mintu Wen Lee. Alexander Leos Jr. Gannon Gregory Leos. Ling Lung. Nixon 
Coy Linney. Cassandra Yvonne Liserio. Kylie K. Lockhart. Nevaeh Grace Langoria. Rolando Lopez Jr. Joshua Bruce Lott. Karen Elisa Lozano. Isaac Young Liu. Liberty Nicole Luna. Amberly Addison Merrick. Elena Morgan Maris. Jacqueline Marie Martinez. Kiara Nicole Martinez. Mason Miguel Martinez. Sean Michael Martinez. Sean Michael Ryan McMahon. Krista Nicole McNary. Jasmine Esmeralda Medellin. Eric Michael Medrano. Roberto Ulises Medrano. Allison Celia Mejia. Sandra Janice Mendez. Zachary Jordan Mendieta. Arturo Mendoza. Ashlyn Nicole Mendoza. Gabriel Alexander Milosalvicic. Brisa Molina. Trace Michael Muncy. Isetni Itzamar Monsevais. Emery Camille Montgomery. Nala Marie Montgomery. Kishon Jordan Morales. Matthew Rene Morales. Kaylin Anise Morin. Trinity Jordan Morris. Bella Ray Moulton. Jenna Nicole Moyers. Kaden Nicholas Moyeski. Brandy Kathleen Moncrief. Viviana Nicole Munoz. Alexis Nicole Myers. Celeste Allison Navarro. Ina Lynn Navarro Spacek. V. Hunthao Nguyen. Kristen Nicole Nickel. Kimberly Nunez Benavides. Abby Renee O'Neill. Angel Mario Olivares. Yasmin Ortiz. Yasmin Azucena Olvalle. Reese Wayne Page. Brady Lee Parker. Analicia Anesti Pena. Brayson J.B. Perez. Emma Jean Perez. Kelsey Renee Perez. Martin Joel Perez. Roy Adrain Perez. Abigail Perez Arredondo. Owen Lee Perry. Gage Parker Paldivall. 
Kaylee Nicole Porras. Leith Giovanni Porras. Caden Daryl Posey. Matthew Scott Powell. Deverick Latrell Pratt Jr. Emily Morgan Quinn. Abigail Amanda Quintero. Gabriela Quirasco. Beth Berai Abigail Ramirez. Devin Xavier Ramirez. Hayden Ambra Ramirez. Juan Carlos Ramirez. Rose Renee Ramirez. Sylvester Luis Ivan Ramos. Ariana Nicole Ramsey. Riley Jordan Ibarra Rendon. Austin Hunter Renteria. Eric Alexander Reyes. Emma Elizabeth Riley. Alyssa Renee Rivera. Alyssa Marie Rivera. Andrew Gage Rivera. Lacey Camille Rivera. Mariah Ann Rivera. Michael Anthony Robinson. Karina Araceli Robles. Olympia Marie Rodeo. Brandon Lee Rodriguez. Elijah Anthony Rodriguez. Marcus Jonathan Rodriguez. Ryan Lucas Rodriguez. Sarah Jessica Rodriguez. Xavier Tomas Rodriguez. Nataline Marie Rodriguez Mata. LaShawn Ty Rogers. Alexander Romero. Isabella Cristiana Rosales. Juan Baldomero Rosales III. Christopher Rene Ruiz. Pablo Antonio Ruiz III. Denise Alize Salas. Kaylin J. Salas. Chloe Nicole Salazar. Delayla Renee Salazar. Jared Bernard Salazar. Kaylee Sky Salazar. Madison Christine Salazar. Dylan Matthew Salinas. Felicia Rejuana Salinas. Mallory Lynn Salinas. Sydney Ariel Salinas. Janeska Adali Sanchez. Dustin Dwayne Schreiner. Diamond Lachey Scott. Emma Ada Seiler. Jared Michael Supelveda. Lauren Michaela Severe. Joshua Abden Shannon. 
Kaylee Lene Shelton. Dallas K. Smith. Kyra Elizabeth Smith. Madison Tyler Soap. Jovan Lee Sobrevilla. Jalen Nicole Solis. Marcus J. Solis. Jacqueline Ruby Solorio. Reese Renee Statsny. Mariah Brooklyn Steen. Elijah Jamal Stovall. Cole Hunter Stringo. Anai Nayeli Sugaki. James Matthew Susteda. Paula Renee Swanson. Melody Rain Swear. Danielle Dakota Talley. Jasmine Embry Tate. Carrie Reese Taylor. Terrence Javon Terrell. Azalyn Renee Tijerina. Tesla Nicole Tort. Alyssa Alize Torres. Giovanni Christopher Trevino. Hannah Elizabeth Tyler. Isaiah Daniel Valdez. Alejandra Anaí Vargas. Fernando Vasquez. George Edward Velasquez. Santiago Villafranco Jr. Caroline Renee Villarreal. Callie Delaney Voss. Isabel Sky Wachtel. Dylan Wade Waychees. Tracy Curtis Westbrook Jr. Aaliyah Garnell White. Ben Matthew Williams. Lillian Renee Williams. Juliana Raylin Wilson. Hannah Lynn Woods. Delana Gail Youngblood. Dylan David Samora. Juan Lo Juana Lorena Zapata. And saving the best for last, Trent Austin Zappi. Congratulations to the class of 2022. I guess I need to also thank TikTok because my golf game should be pretty good. Hope I can make it through 18 holes with all those. Please welcome Ellison High Student Council President who will leave you with a student address.
Good evening. My name is Ellison High, and I have had the honor to serve as the class of 2022's class president for the past four years and your student council president for this past year. I know by this point in the night, we are all anxious to process out of the stadium and start our future as alumni of Victoria East High School. But for these next couple of minutes, I want each and every one of you to soak in your last moments as the class of 2022. What a ride. While it'd be very easy for me to stand here and name all the ways our high school years did not go as planned, I'd rather spend this precious time focusing on how our class chose to rise in the face of adversity. We conquered online learning, social distancing, and the traditional high school event cancellations and rose to the occasion. Now graduates, while it's, important, it's very important to look forward to the future, let us not disregard the steps that led us to this moment. This may sound corny, but I want each of you to take a moment and think back to your very first day at VEHS. For the majority of us, this was August 21st, 2018. The first word that probably comes to mind right now is, yikes. Oh, how much we have grown into the young men and women that we are four years later. Now that we have taken a moment to look at the past, it is now time to look forward to the future. Our lives are not ending. They are just beginning. What are your goals, dreams, and desires for your life? I want to encourage all of you with this nugget of advice. A dream is only as good as the work ethic of the dreamer. Each of us have big goals for our life, and we are all capable of reaching those goals with the rigorous work ethic we embody at Victoria East. Hard work really does pay off. Mr. Gabbers has spoken this year often about our and, and guess you may have noticed the and symbol on many students' graduation caps tonight. This symbol represents the students that have already made plans for their future. We are not just defined by this diploma. We are Victoria High School graduates and enlisting in the military. We are Victoria East graduates and joining the workforce. We're Victoria East graduates and pursuing an education at a trade school. We're Victoria East graduates and furthering our education at a university. There are many more opportunities that my fellow classmates are embarking on starting tomorrow, and I wish I had an endless amount of time to recognize each of them. No matter where we go, Titans together or Titans apart, we'll always have our Titan family. Now before we toss our hats, there is one last assignment I have for you. Tonight, I want each of you to tell at least five different people who impacted you throughout your years in school what a difference they made in your life. This could be teachers, mentors, counselors, administrative staff, parents, or even friends that motivated you to push through the finish line. Without these encouragers, none of us would be sitting here tonight. Without our faith, many of us would not be sitting here tonight either. For me, without my Savior Jesus Christ, I would not have the courage to stand here tonight, nor would I have made it through the struggles related to high school. Now to my class of 2022, I could not be more grateful to be blessed to have all of y'all as my peers. I came into East knowing five people, and now I am leaving with a family. I love each and every one of y'all so very much, and I have been so honored to serve as y'all's class president. Lastly, I want each of y'all to look around at your fellow classmates. For now, we are officially alumni of Victoria East. Class 22, we did it. Graduates, will you please now stand? Now graduates, move your tassels from the right to the left. Class of 2022, with me, toss your cap. Graduates, parents, family, and friends, please stand for our school song played by the Victoria East Band. Thank you to everyone for celebrating with us tonight. Good luck. Titan Pride.
Good luck, graduates. graduates.